Business cards. Business cards are less important than they used to be. Keeping a small quantity of them is useful. You can give those out to people who want to remember your name and look up your website. Give them out whenever you can. You can never tell when someone will look you up. The information that you put on your business card will be a means for your future clients to contact you. You really want to think about how people will remember you. Colors, images, the logo are all name recognition elements that you choose carefully. What you absolutely need on your business card is your name, your email, so they can contact you, your website, so they can look up your work, your logo. Optional is an image that represents you. That could be flowers, if you're a flower painter. That could be a picture of your installation. Do not put your street address, your personal phone number. You can put your business phone number if you have one. Don't put photos of you or your family or anything personal. This is a business card. A photo of your artwork on your card along with your name, website, and email. Or you can put your logo on your card with your information. Or you can put both the logo and an image on your card if there is room. Don't overload your card. Keep it simple. Choose colors that are on your website or blog. You want the color scheme to be recognizable and you want your look on it. The next step is for you to design your business card. Make a quick sketch now. Here's some help for you. There are some websites that have business card templates you can start with. There are some websites that have business card templates you can start with. Something like Vistaprint, Moo, Canva. You can also visit a local designer and ask them to do this work for you. Another option is to hire someone online to do the work for you. There are listings of people that can do this kind of work on sites like Fiverr.com. They are not the only ones. Search for this online and you'll be able to get a good deal, possibly. Write your list of possibilities down. This is the next step. And then... Out of your list, choose one. My personal choice was to work with someone locally. This way, I was able to change some elements that I thought would look good, but didn't when I actually saw the product. Only you can decide how you're going to do your business cards. So that's it for business cards. So start your drawing now. Choose how you're going to actually put it together. And then we'll see you in the next section.